Do I look cool? I wanna make sure I look cool. I don't really care about the video. I don't care about the grinder. I just wanna make sure I look cool. Hey, I'm Westy and today I'm here to talk to you about the One Z Presso K Pro. And just gonna quickly go over some of the things I really like about this. If I can find some complaints, I'll definitely bring those up too. This model was provided to me at wholesale pricing from One Z Presso. If you pay retail for it, it is $240 on Amazon when I last looked. And uh, that price is kind of across the board no matter who you looked at. It is like, really hefty and weighted, like just feels great in your hand. You could definitely like mash some walnuts with this thing. Like it locks in really well. Um, the threading on the one model that is up from this one, it's magnetic, which I haven't tried that one, but I have a feeling I'd really like it. It doesn't take that long, but having a magnetic one could be good. I have talked to specialty coffee guy and he has the magnetic one. He said one thing he runs into is sometimes it doesn't quite catch all the way and it's fallen off on him before. So that could be a downside of the magnetic one. And they also include these two just like bands. Maybe don't look as sleek when they're on, but I kind of like to have them on. Uh, it just makes it feel a little bit more protected. Also, after I do the grounds, um, I like to like knock it on the side of something, like protects it a little bit when you do that. Also, this wooden handle is really nice and the whole thing just feels really good in your hand. I've worked with other um, hand grinders in the past and like the geometry of them is really awkward. Like it's the handle's too short and it's hard to turn it or it's like really far. So like it'll like crank fast when it's close to you and when it's away it doesn't. And this one just like has a really good focus on turning the top. You could more focus on turning the bottom. I kind of like to do some of both and it feels really good to turn it. My number one favorite feature about this model, the K Plus and the K Pro have this feature, is the external dial ring. Every other manual hand grinder that I've used in order to adjust the grind, you have to screw the bottom off and there's like a piece in here that you turn and then you gotta like put it back on with some beans in there and try it and then check it and like it's like on and off, on and off, on and off. It's a stainless steel burr, um, so it'll last a long time. I've had it for a few months, but honestly, it's still probably getting seasoned a little bit. I think it's even gonna get a little better as I continue to use it. I do almost only pour over, so I don't ever adjust. Maybe like five clicks is the most I'll go to and fro. I have not used this firsthand for espresso, but I have talked to people that have. Very capable for espresso. I've played around with like grinding it as low as I can get it and grinding it really coarse as well. Obviously it goes a lot quicker on the coarse setting than the fine setting and when you get down to the pretty fine, like the bottom five clicks or so, it's uh, really time consuming to grind it that way. I would not see using it as like for dialing in shots. Uh, it would definitely take a lot of time and effort. So for my final thoughts, it is a really great grinder. Having never owned a high-end hand grinder before, it would have been hard for me to imagine paying 240 for it. But now that I have one, I'd say it's definitely worth it. High quality, high performance, really good consistency across any grind size. And just the external dial adjustment is awesome. The overall build quality is really great. And if you are interested in getting one for yourself, you can click the link in the bio. It's available on Amazon for, like I said, $240, or you can get it wherever you like to get your coffee equipment. My hair's good? Yeah. I shaved just before you came over.